students one of the most asked comment on which we saw on our entire feed was sir can you tell us anything about mbbs in abroad sir it is my dream right now because things did not work out in india and i really hope for a better future in abroad and i really want a particular guidance because i do not know how do i actually reach there yes yeah. no students and if you are looking for studying abroad this is the only video which you need to watch to get a complete glimpse and understanding about the budget the top colleges the exactly. countries that you should be looking forward to and uh, you know there are a lot of nitty gritties when you think about studying abroad so all the important details coming up in this video so quickly smash the like button and also share it with any friend of yours who is looking to study abroad right. because this is the only video you are going to need yeah so basically how the journey looks like for any student who is studying abroad so obviously you give your uh, you know neat exam some colleges might require your neat score well some colleges may not require your neat score and then you start your mbbs and you complete your mbbs but meanwhile many students also are simultaneously preparing for the next exam which is now a mandatory requirement if you want to practice in india so as soon as you come in india and you want to start practicing you give the next exam and trust me this is also a good level of examination uh, think of it like the neat pg examination which was there now anyways so then if you fail again you redo the exam until you pass and once you pass you get the internship and if you get a merit seat you go for the pg courses in different medical colleges in the country so you can specialize into some particular branch or course subject so it is said already that uh, need pg might be replaced by next exam in the coming yeah. future now students let me tell you a bit scenario right now you are in 12th standard right now with pcb main then you, you mbbs in abroad india or abroad now students here you need to have something called a license exams here you can see students after you finish your mbbs examination as uh, told there is next exam next exam is for india or uh, if you want to work in india again now students if you want to work in other countries let's say you have done a mbbs in us mbbs in any other country but you want to work also in different country in such case what do you need to do for example students if you want to work in usa you need like a clerkship in usa or residency in usa you need to write the exam called as usmle that is step 1 and step 2 that is ck is your clinical knowledge now students here let's say you want to work in let's say london or anywhere in uk for that we have mrcp 1 and 2 exam so students you realize that if you want to work back in india this is the exam if you want to work in us this exam work in uk this exam in european countries also so this is all after mbbs not before mbbs students so be very careful this no one tells students sir anyone has ever told us because they just say do mbbs abroad and you get a job it doesn't work like that doesn't work even after doing mbbs in abroad this is the exams you need to do now students sir Sir, yeah and remember also in us uh, when you want to study the process is slightly more complicated because you have something called as a pre medical which you need to do and yeah. all that it takes slightly more time especially for so indian students all disclaimer uh, disclaimers before we tell you because we don't we are here as a teachers we are not here to like you know just tell you something and go away because we really care about you so these are the things which you need to keep in mind before you even go for any of the options given above and uh, parents special request please share this across all your whatsapp groups telegram groups because a lot of parents are not aware of all these uh, small small things and suddenly it should not be a financial burden or any other kind of burden mental pressure on you or your kids exactly. as well so talking about the general budgets and the cost per year so if you are talking about germany the cost is very low but there are some catches out there which will come in a bit so it may look very catchy students germany yeah. has no money at all zero rupees because education is free in germany. Germany, so, but there are a lot of catches. We'll tell you later on. Yeah. Then, if you talk about Russia, around four, uh, four to five lakhs per year. Total budget around thirty lakhs for China. It's around thirty to forty lakhs for Kazakhstan. Around again, uh, again twenty-five to twenty-seven lakhs. Georgia around forty to fifty lakhs. Nepal sixty to sixty-five lakhs. You might not know many students study in Nepal. Many Indian students. EU countries like Germany, France, etc. It's around one to one and a half crores. Obviously, it's a yeah, Western country, a very very forward developed country. So obviously, the cost is very high. Then. If you talk about the top medical universities in Russia, these are the top list, guys. Make sure you take a note of it, take a screenshot of it, and you can see the tuition so fees we'll is. Send, we'll send this PDF in the Telegram, sir. Yeah, yeah, we'll send the PDF in the Telegram. You can see this is in rubles, so you need to do the conversion because time to time the frequency will, uh, sorry, the currency will keep on changing. But right now, one ruble is roughly one rupee, so almost nineteen lakhs, twenty nine lakhs is the fee, and the total budget. You can see it's very less, guys. There are many colleges in India which charge around this much per year, sir. So one year cost is equal to the total budget in Russia. that's right 
and then if you talk about kazakhstan the cost is in usd these are the top universities in kazakhstan please take a note of it or take a screenshot of this and uh, then the next one is in the georgia it's in usd one usd is roughly around you know 85 to 90 rupees it keeps on fluctuating okay then we talk about nepal these are the three top universities which you should be considering whatever universities we are mentioning over here please understand that these are the universities which you should search you should definitely not give it a skip there are more but for that we will tell you another important thing students uh, germany might sound very 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 you know good to be true it may sound that you know germany has completely free education you will get have to pay zero rupees it is true you don't you don't have to pay a single rupee until you reach your pg that is tuition fees alone remember students studying in germany takes a lot of money for other expenditure also that first point second point is students if you want to study in germany they have their own exam their own exam is called as your fsp exam and this exam is not in english this exam is in pure german language and for that you need to learn german that is you need to have something called as german language up to b2 level and along with that you should also have vocational skills that is your this one so this 3.5 years 2 years roughly takes so 5 years gone there only sir roughly so again students if you are preparing for german from very long time this may be easy for you this time may be reduced for you but again from ground zero very difficult to study in german with german germany because you need to learn the language there now students Sir, next one is going to be next one is basically in China. You can see these are the expenses. Uh, uh, it's not much, guys. It's like two lakh forty four thousand, two lakh fifty thousand, three lakh, and all of that in all these top universities. In, yeah, it's uh, again in the uh, you know uh, their own currency. You need to obviously factor in the conversion factor as well. Then if you talk in Egypt in US dollars, it's around forty three thousand, forty six thousand. You know these are the top three universities. Then if you talk about Poland, Poland is also an European nation. It's a very nice, peaceful country. You should definitely consider that. And these are the top universities and the top countries which you must definitely consider. We will be sharing the PDF. But now let me tell you one very important thing. Is this the complete exhaustive list? No. Is it so simple? Oh, I just go to the university, click apply. Put my name, Aadhaar card number, and this. No, no. visa application, documentation. Uh, some might need even some additional language but requirements. If you think that your need entire application of filling was difficult, if you feel your need uh, documents collection was difficult, this is ten times more difficult. Very because difficult. you're going to other countries, staying there, accommodation it could be so. So basically, if this is your need documentation. Documentation for these of the following will be this much big. So you will yeah. realize, and, and any one document, sir, any one document goes. That's it. It is completely rejected, and you can't even apply again. And also remember, every college has its own application process. It's not like a centralized no, process where oh, Germany means all German colleges will get. No. no, it is not that simple. You have to select the colleges, and sending one one application also costs. So you have to think before applying exactly. whether I will get, or right. else if you get rejected. It is very important point because yeah. no one understands. You see, you saw a big list. You're like I'll send everyone. Uh, no, no, students, one one application will be in tens of thousand. Should realize that. Yeah. Okay. So, so you can't apply randomly to anywhere. Yeah. Not just that. Also keep in mind there are many many colleges which you might find it uh, best suited for you. Obviously even Philippines and uh, you know there are other countries yeah, as well, Vietnam also, yes. and all that where you have good colleges. So we will be. Holding a seminar, and Vedantu has tied up with amazing counselors who are experts in these fields. Because you know, I might make you know countless videos, but how many videos are going to you are going to watch? Because everything at the end of the day comes down to you. What is your personal choice? So we have arranged a free counseling. So. And that is tied up with Vedantu, my dear students, and we are taking that extra mile edge just for all of you. And this link for MBBS counseling is there in the description box of this particular video. So click on this link, and this will open up. The counseling is going to happen this Friday, 9th of May. Again, sir, sir, sir. Usually, this all of these counseling yeah. they charge. No, this they, is free. They usually charge, and never ever they give it for free because you know webinars are always expensive. Webinars they generally ask you money. You might have seen all these influencers doing that. No. Join a webinar only five hundred rupees, only four hundred rupees. I will teach you everything. No, so we at Vedantu we requested them. Vedantu is going to take the burden of it, and uh, and this is only for Vedantu students, and especially because you are on YouTube with us. That's why it is absolutely free. So share this link across someone who might need this particular kind of counseling. Click on register now. Enter your name, contact number, email ID, and the webinar date, and that's it. You are done and sorted.
so i request every student even if you think that sir mbbs abroad is not for me too much fees no guys it is not sometimes it is sometimes no most of the times it is cheaper only very few countries it is very costly you never know until you have received the seat and if your dream is to get a college this year by hook or by crook then you must attend this webinar it will be a game changer again students it's your decision right now at the end of the day parents should sure, don't take decision on your own show this to your parents tell them see this is a opportunity i can can i explore it that's all so if you think it is your cup of tea you can explore it then do it again no one's forcing you or anything in this so this is a alternative opportunity right now to all of your students so that's it right students yeah humble request to all the parents make sure you share it across to all your friends and uh, circles so that they too do not get left behind in all of this so please okay. don't waste your money make sure that you save your money and you are kid is in the right college and you know papa they had a very bad experience with need this year so at least when they secure a seat the happiness that you will see on their faces will definitely bring lot of joy on you thanks so much friends